Hi, I'm going to get going on the week four lab today. And let's just begin by opening the folder, which I have downloaded already. So there it is. I unzipped it. It's right here. Did I choose? Oh, yeah, there it is. So uh, I've got my chocolate cakes txt file. I'm going to do a save as file, save as, and rename it HTML. And now I've got the uh, txt file made into an HTML file. I'll go ahead and get my basic tags on. And I'm going to pause the video while I do that because this is something you already know. You don't need to watch me do that. All right, play some Jeopardy music in your head. All right, I renamed this site, uh, Step 1 Basic Tags. So you can see I've got my doc type in, my HTML start tag down here at the bottom, my HTML end tag. And I have made a head tag, a title tag, my closing head tag, and in between here, I added a couple of style tags. If you watched the slideshow, you'll know what I'm going to be doing here. So inside the body tags, I gave the first headline an H1, and then I made this a paragraph. I'm not sure if that's what it should be, but we can change it later. I made an H2 for ingredients and for directions. And then under the ingredients, I made an unordered list. And under directions, I made an ordered list. That's all I did, so that's where we will start. I want to talk about the internal style sheet. And I want to tell you that internal styles are going to go here. And the comment tag for style sheets, CSS, is forward slash asterisk. So I'll just write this is a comment tag and then asterisk forward slash. Oops, forward slash. You'll note that this is here in the HTML, but let's launch this. Actually, I found something new about um, Visual Studio Code and it's this go live button down here. I don't know why sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not, but I will click it just to show you. Here's what we have so far. And I will just keep this window open so that you can understand. Let's see, server is started. At, it's just telling me that it's a live server extension. And it might be that this doesn't appear if you already have this window open. That might be why sometimes it shows and sometimes it doesn't. I'm just learning Visual Studio Code along with you. So what do we want to do about styles? Let's give one style and watch how CSS works, the magic of CSS. I am going to put in a selector of the body tag. And then I will type my curly bracket and hit enter. So this is the typical way. Again, if you watch the slideshow, you'll see that this is the typical way we use CSS rules. So the body tag is my selector. I've typed my two curly brackets. I actually only typed the first one. The second one just appeared. Thank you, Visual Studio. Uh, and now I'm going to type a declaration, right? A CSS rule that will include a property name and a property value. They'll be separated by a colon. So the first property name I'm going to put in here is font family. And then you can see I can let the code hint finish it for me. And when it did, you'll see it put in the colon and the semicolon. So the font family I'm going to choose is Verdana. Now, when I choose Verdana, it also pops in Geneva, Tahoma, and Sans Serif. Um, perhaps you do or don't know what Sans Serif means. It's a topic for another day, but it is an important topic. 
the point is, this long list of fonts, what this is saying is that please use Verdana. And if you don't find it on the system that is running this website, use Geneva. And if you don't find that, use Tahoma. And if you don't find that, use anything that is sans serif. So that's what that all means. Most computers do have Verdana, and it's a great font for uh, websites. So I'm going to do a save, and then I'm going to take a quick peek at, oh, look at that. So that one line of text, that one CSS rule, changed the whole thing. One CSS rule, many changes. All right, so now that the text is changed, I want to do a couple of specific styling things on these H2s. Let's do something with the H2s. So I'll create the beginning of my style rule by typing the selector H2 and a curly bracket and enter. So now I'm ready to do some H2 styling. First thing I'd like to talk about is color. I'll give it the color tag, and when I type a semicolon, you'll see lots of options that I could choose here. But uh, let's see. What I am going to choose is a dark green, just for now, so you can see what it looks like. I'll do a save. And you can see that my H2s are dark green. We're going to go into color a little bit more in the next video, but I wanted to get this up and running, started for you, so that you could get your HTML skeleton, your original tags, and a couple of CSS styles. All right, next video upcoming on color.